Hi, Layla. What are you doing here? Hey, how are you? How did you find out where I live? I saw your, your status that you'd moved here, and, you know, I thought nothing ventured, nothing gained. And what exactly do you think you stand to gain from me? No, I... Nothing. I don't... I don't even say that. I heard some idiot at a coffee shop say that. I... I just... Why are you here? Why are you in New Zealand? I came to see you. And I know the messages weren't working, and that's a really lame way to communicate. But I want to show you face-to-face -face in a tangible way. I'm taking this seriously. Look, Josh, I hate to say this to you. I mean, I barely know you, but I think you're delusional. Ouch. Um, okay, this isn't going how I planned it at all. Oh, and how did you think it was going to go, Josh? Do you think I was going to throw my arms around you? Kiss you again? Bet you in the teen sex. Okay, it was nice to see you. I mean, I'm flattered, but I've got to go. Bye, Josh. Oh, don't use that computer. It's fucked. Thanks. Oh, and that one's broken too. You can uh, probably use mine after me because I've only got a few minutes left and I've just got a few more emails to send, but you can use my minutes. Thanks. So where are you from? Um, I live in California, in the U.S. Mm. What about you? Where are you from? Uh, Melbourne, Australia. Oh, cool. Yeah, you been to Australia? No, I never have. It's pretty nice. Yeah, I want to go. <laughs> uh, so, you, are you traveling by yourself? Yeah. Yeah, just me. Hey, Charlie. Hey, what are you doing? Okay. Do you want to go and get that drink that we talked about? Yeah, love to. Where are we going to go? Just to a couple of bars in the city. Sounds good. Yeah, okay. Yeah, just going to stop. There you go. Thanks a lot. Actually, um, do you want to come? We're going to go down the street and get a few beers at the pub and then uh, go to a drum and bass place afterwards, if you'll join us. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, you're totally welcome.
Okay. <laughs> I'll see you in the morning. Uh, I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> I just slept in, and oh, no. I'm wondering if I missed my bus to Queenstown. Um, yeah, I think the bus left about 15, 20 minutes ago. Oh, um, shit. But it's oh. really cool. I mean, we might be able to ring them up and get a transfer or something. Oh, really? That yeah, would be yeah, amazing. Uh, awesome. Thanks. Yeah, I'll jump onto it. Oh, morning. Hey. Hey. I, thought I, I thought you left. I missed my bus. I slept oh, in. Oh, no. And, oh, it's a bit of a disaster, actually. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it's... Oh. Last night was fun. <laughs> yeah, it was fun. Yeah. So... <laughs> Drum and bass. So, you, are you free? You wanna? Uh, I was gonna make some food if you wanna. You're making wanna, lunch? Yeah, you wanna. I, I can. I can make enough for both of us if you wanna have some lunch with me. Yeah. What are you gonna make? Uh, just gonna make some stir fry. What? Because I'm Asian. No. What? <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. That sounds amazing. You gonna make some noodles with it? Is that okay? <laughs> yeah, that's wonderful. Okay. I'll meet you in there. Okay, awesome. <laughs> a little bit, thanks. I'm, I'm sorry, this isn't coming out right. I mean, you're all right. You know what I mean? It's, you seem cool. Right, well... But, but we'll see. Yeah. OK, what you see is what you get. I may not be as intrepid as you, not yet, but I'm learning, OK? <laughs> you're cool. You we should rent a camper van. Like an RV? Yeah, yeah, like a camper van. We could pick up random people travel around the island for a week, and we would split costs so it'd be super cheap. Where would we go? Milford Town. Have you seen those brochures in the front room? Yeah, it looks yeah, incredible. Incredible, right? I would love to see that before I leave. That would be so fun. So do you want to go? You wouldn't mind traveling with me? As long as you don't try to hit on me. No, I'd be like your brother, I, I promise. It's really beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. So why are you traveling? I can't believe I haven't told you this. I am a huge Lord of the Rings fan. Nah, -uh. get out! Uh. <laughs> You're a Lord of the Rings tourist? Please. No, I'm no. not. No. Don't get me wrong, I love the movies. Uh. I was actually obsessed with The Hobbit growing up. <laughs> so why are you really here? To see this, I guess. Good enough for me.
we're such a good hostel, we're so clean and it's so neat and tidy here. Yeah. And then you read all those reviews yeah. about pod and hookers and stuff. Yeah. It's like, to Sweden. Oh, I'm backpacking. So you can go in first. Me first? Yep. Okay. Mm. Sex. I don't want to have sex with you. What? Why not? <sighs> I'm sorry, I'm a little drunk. Uh, <laughs> why are you trying to have sex with me? I'm sorry, I'm not. Really? Okay, can we talk for a minute? Okay, what are you going to tell me? <sighs> okay, we made a pact to keep this platonic, right? All right. You're here... You're traveling to get over a past relationship. Yeah, I've been really clear about that. And that's why we shouldn't be doing this. Because the second we go on that road, this becomes the story of our short-lived relationship rather than about the adventure that we're on. Mm, I really don't want to go down that road again. I'm sorry. Me too. Okay, let's make a deal. We're in this together, right? Hands off. Deal. What are you doing? I'm sorry, I'm kidding. I'm totally joking. Oh. Let's go to bed. I got this bunk still. Good night. You can have a blanket. I get the sleeping bag. Stay on that side. Oh, I will. I don't care. I love this side. I wouldn't go on that side if I could. Because I don't like it anyway. Okay. I don't like it.
what do you say? We just keep going. We skip your flight and we go to the North Island and show you. I think I'm done with New Zealand. I think it's time for something different. Yeah. Is everything okay? Yeah, everything's good. It's just the end of our trip. We're leaving. I kinda wanna talk about some things. Oh yeah? Do you wanna go here? This looks cute. Yeah, this place looks good. I've just gotta to go to the bathroom. I'll meet you down here. Okay. Yeah, I stuck around for a little bit. Yeah? That was good. Look, I'm really glad we bumped into each other. I've been thinking about what you did. Coming all the way over here just to see me. I think it's really sweet. I'm sorry for the way I acted. I was just so surprised. You know what? It's OK. It's totally for the best. It's no big deal. Um, you know, I got to tour around. It was a lot of fun. Yeah? So, so how long are you thinking of sticking around for? Uh, I'll, just a, a little while longer. Um, yeah, but anyway, it was, it was great to, to see you again. What are the chances? Um, but yeah, uh, I'll see you around. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, you met another girl, eh? I met a lot of really cool people here. Yeah. Come to me, yeah? Is that her? Hi. Excuse me. Josh is a great guy, huh? Yeah. Hi. Um, do you two know each other? <laughs> yeah, well, a little more than friends, actually. I'm Leela. Did he not mention me? Lovely to meet you. <laughs> yeah, well, I hope you're both very happy together. You can have him for all I like her. Bye, Josh. She's pretty. Good work. <laughs> okay, John, that was really awkward. I'm, I'm sorry. What the fuck was that? <laughs> okay, I can explain everything. Look, let's walk and talk, okay? I've got a plane. Do you have a girlfriend in New Zealand? No, not at all. I barely even know her. How come you didn't tell me about her? Because it's not important. We've been traveling together for a whole week, and I feel like you've been lying to me this whole time. I haven't been time. lying to you. Oh, you've just been being dishonest. No, not exactly. But how not exactly? I just got bitched out by some girl that I don't even know who seems to know you fairly intimately. Well? Okay, I originally came here for a girl. Then why don't you tell me about her? Because it's embarrassing. Okay, a year ago, I went to London for work. I met a bartender on the last night that I was there. I asked her to come out with me and my coworkers for a drink, which she did, and we ended up spending the night. You slept with her? No, we ended up spending the night walking around London together. It ended in a kiss. That's as far as it went. We exchanged email addresses. Okay, the relationship fizzled out in a month, and I saw that she moved here. I had a really terrible year. I quit my job, and so I decided to come here and see if I missed my one chance at love. And what did you find? I found that it felt like a lot more than it actually was. She seemed to like you, okay? Yeah, well, it doesn't matter. And why is that? Because when I met her, I didn't know you. And now that I know you, I don't care about her. And why aren't you coming to Thailand? Okay, you came on this trip to get over something. But it's about so much more than that. You're rewriting your story. I don't want to take that away from you. Josh, I've got to get a plane, all right? It's nice knowing you. Let me walk you to the bus. No, really, OK? Stay here. Really great time together. It's great knowing you. Thank you for everything, but leave me be.
Charlie. Charlie. Josh. Hey. I am an idiot. This is my contact information. This is my email address, my phone number, my home address. So I just want you, whenever you're out on the road, just email me every once in a while. Let me know where you're at and how you are. And when you make it to the US, I would love for you to come and see me. Okay. I like you a lot, Charlie. I really like you. And I want to make this work whenever you're ready. Why don't you just come with me? I need, I need six months. I need to get my life organized. I need to make and save some money. And then... And then what? We can pick up where we left off. So, will you come see me when you make it to the US? Do we have a deal? Deal. Okay. So, this is your trip. This is, I hope you have a time in your life. Go live your adventure. Have fun.